I'm so glad you are watching Bible Teams Children's Show on this beautiful day. And I'm so excited to be with you. And I'm sure the children are also. Children, say hello to your friends back home. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Say welcome to Bible Teams. Welcome, welcome to Bible Teams, everyone. Okay, we welcome you heartily today. And I am your host, Auntie Anu. We're going to go on a very quick break, and when we come back, we're going to give you a download of what we have for you today. Please don't go away. Welcome, welcome back. I'm so glad you are still with us. Okay, um, this is Bible Tunes Children's Show. If this is your first time of watching this program, this is a program where we get to sing God's word. And we have been on a beautiful journey thus far. We have been learning, or we've learned the Ten Commandments, okay? And um, the Ten Commandments was given to Moses by God. And children, hasn't it been wonderful? Yeah. Learning the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, and the Ten Commandments. Please show them a round of applause for yourself. Before we go deeply into what we have today, I would like you to meet my wonderful, wonderful children. Okay, Emmanuel, let's start with you. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Fonuka. That's why. Yeah. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Ino Falancho. Okay. The Hello, everyone. Better. My name is Beta Falancho. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Amemolao. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Prison. Yes. We welcome you once again. So today we are looking at the recap of the Ninth Commandment. I'm sure children at home, you can still remember the Ninth Commandment, right? Yes. Okay. So... Oluwakemi, would you want to tell us the ninth commandment? What's the ninth commandment? Tell us. Okay. Okay, you know? That shall not be a false witness. Again. Against thy neighbor. Taken from? Exodus chapter 20, verse 16. Good. A round of applause for you. Know. Yes. The ninth commandment is from Exodus chapter 20, yes. verse 16. And it says, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Neighbor. Children, let me ask us now. You know, we're supposed to be doers of the word and not just hearers of the word. Now, since you learned about the ninth commandment, have you been bearing false witness against thy neighbor? No. Samuel, have you reported Esther falsely to mommy? You told a lie. You told no. mommy what Esther did not do. Mm, okay, so now, do we still remember the Bible tunes of the Ninth Commandment? Yes. yes. Who wants to sing it for us? Thy shall not, thy shall not, thy shall not be for sickness again, thy neighbor. Very good, yeah, let's sing it together now, one to go. Thy shall not be for sickness again. We are picking different keys, let me pick the key for us. Thou shalt not bear forgiveness against thy neighbor. One more time. Thou shalt not bear forgiveness against thy neighbor. Again. Thou shalt not bear forgiveness against thy neighbor. You're not singing. Okay, sing the song alone. I shall not be what weakness against thy neighbor. Very good. Thou shall not be a false witness against thy neighbor. So we're gonna take the karaoke of the ninth commandment. Please don't go away. Thou 
the ninth um, commandment karaoke so very quickly we move on to the tenth commandment you know but before we move on to the tenth commandment i just want to emphasize the need for us to live in peace with our neighbors it's very very essential is that not so children yes you need to be with your neighbor the person who lives beside you yes the person who lives beside you the person who is your, your classmate the person sitting beside you in school is your Mate. neighbor Mate. okay so now the tenth commandment was taken from where exodus yeah. chapter 20 yeah. verse 16. Yeah. no that was in nine yeah. but 17 yes we took the tenth commandment from exodus chapter 20 verse yes, 17. 17 and um enoch can you recite yes. the tenth Memory verse. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Okay. No is one servant, no is one servant, no is ox, no is ass, or anything that is my neighbor. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Okay, somebody else want to try? <laughs> Emmanuel, you want to give us a try? The Tenth Commandment. That cannot be a Hmm. Okay, Samuel. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thy neighbor's Louder. Wife. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thy neighbor's wife, nor his man servant, nor his baby servant, nor his ox, nor his, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor. Very good. Bravo. A round of applause for Samuel, too. Okay. So we remember the. Okay, you want to recite it? Okay. Thou shalt not be for the wicked. Okay, that was the ninth commandment, actually. Okay, let's encourage Belua Kemi. That was a good try. Is that not so? Yes. So we remember the Bible tunes. Okay, let's sing it together. I want to go. Thou shalt not be a No. Thou shalt not come thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his man's servant, nor his maid servant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that's thy 
but let me ask God's children, what does it mean to covet? Mm-hmm. Where, you covet? Covet. Okay. Where you covet a thing? Where you covet a thing? Okay, so what does that word covet mean? When you see it. Yes, it Samuel. means that okay. when somebody ah, is this I know. Let Samuel talk now. When somebody okay. brings something to school and, and your mommy did not give you, okay. when you now say, please, now go and tell her that, one, that this person brings something that is not given you. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yes, praise, 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 Okay, we'll come back to you. Okay, you know, what does it mean to convert? Like, for example, okay. if someone has chips or chicken, mm-hmm. okay, <laughs> like chips. Okay. Okay. And, and, and another person says that that person that is loading chips and kitchen. Okay. And chicken. And chicken. <laughs> okay. And it's, and when, when the person is eating it, he, he feel like eating it too. Okay. So, he will not go to his mom or his dad to buy his own. Okay. That okay. Meaning. Okay. I think I, I, I like the way in, in Yoruba, I hope I'm permitted oh. to, to say that. In Yoruba, oh, we yes. call covetousness. Oh, 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 oh. Do you understand? Mm. Covetousness begins with the eyes. Children, touch your mm-hmm. eyes. Covetousness begins what? With the eyes. Okay, that's enough now. Covetousness is when you have a strong desire for something that belongs. Are you listening, Emmanuel, and for looking at me? Most of you, it's only when you see that your friend brought Caprison to school. And when you now get to me, tell mommy that, mommy, you must buy me Caprison because you've what? You've seen your friend. Capricorn. So children, the tenth commandment says, "Thou shalt not covet." Okay. So on this wonderful note, we've come to the end of the ten commandment series, and we are going into another very interesting topic. Well, I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag now. She will come your way again next week. I remain your host, Auntie Anu, and together we are saying, "Bye bye."